I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinless Creatures, but on today's episode we are going to be rehousing the Ferrophos Apophysis, which is just down here that I got from the show, uh, which was the British Tarantula Society show. So the Ferrophos Apophysis is going to be going inside this tank just here. Sorry, let me just turn this light on. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be going inside this tarantula room enclosure. Um, again, it's one of the, the square ones with the uh, little thermostat and yeah, it's got the humidity and the actual temperature on there. So currently inside there is 27.9, so it's nice and toasty. Although this room is at 27 degrees at the minute, it was a lot higher earlier. So the Ferrophos Apophysis is just here. So this is the female, and the reason for not actually rehousing this one just yet is for the fact that this Ferrophos Apophysis has actually molted. So when I bought it, I was thinking, you know, the abdomen's a bit chunky. And a couple days later, I thought, you know what, I'm going to rehouse the other stuff first because there was some stuff that needed desperately rehousing. This one wasn't too bad, to be fair. It had a water dish, it's, you know, it's in a tub. It's, it's, it's quite a small tub, but, you know, and then it ended up molting. So I was like, you know what, now I've got to long this out even more. I've waited about probably a week and a half to two weeks now. I'm probably going to say about two weeks. And, you know, it needs feeding, but it also needs rehousing. So I thought to myself, you know what, I might just be able to stick this inside this enclosure once it's done. Maybe drop some food into this and, you know, because it's pretty much the size of the actual enclosure now. So it might just, it might just come out on its own accord. If not, it, it might need a bit of um, convincing. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's go down to this table and let's have a look at how we set up this tank. I always feel like I repeat myself here, but <laughs> I've put a bit of moss in, a bit of leaf litter, there's some topsoil in there, we've got some core bark, there's a water dish. So this did look very, um, sort of, you know, the condensation on it, and that's because I left the bag out in the sun, so the uh, soil was pretty hot. But then again, it's uh, cooled right down. But it's nice and um, nice and moist at the minute, which is good, especially for the Ferrophosa apophysis. So, yeah, I quite like it. I didn't really have any, like, half-tube 
it's all coil bark so I've tried putting three together to make a little sort of burrow uh, area so fingers crossed she enjoys this so let me clear this table as I always say and then uh, we'll crack on with the three S. Right, so I've got the female just here and like I said, I'm probably gonna just, probably put the tub in like that, I'd say, um, undo it, maybe try and feed her. Cause when her legs are out, it, it, she, she can't stretch her legs all the way out. So I'm hoping she just come straight out and I can just take the tub like literally straight. I, I don't know, we'll find out. But um, also wanted to just say, um, obviously I had a Ferrophosa Apophysis that I released on my old channel. That actually died a, a couple months later, which was quite sad. So I am happy to have a Ferrophosa Apophysis again, um, especially a pair. So the male is literally just gonna go in like a little bra plast tub um, for now, because that's that's where I keep most of my males. But geez, I don't even know if I wanna open this. Um, <laughs> right, so we're gonna pull it in there. And well, actually, let me try and unclip the tub first before I put it in. So it's probably going to be a lot easier, isn't it? Uh, it's already like fucking going nuts. Oh my god, it's going nuts around this tub. I don't want it to fly out. One corner left. So what do you think, just drop the food in it or? I don't even know if this is gonna work. I just thought killed two birds with one stone, if you know what I mean. Um, but we shall see. Oh, right. See what I mean, she's massive. She is massive. So. So uh, tweezers, let's do this. We're probably just gonna have to nudge her out, but it's, it's still cool regardless. Never done a re like this before, actually. Are we ready? Are we ready? There we go. All right, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna nudge it. Well, I'll give her a second, we'll see. We should have done like saying that we'll put up a fight. Look at this, she is stunning though, isn't she? Look at that. Ooh. You are a beauty. So most people would probably say just leave this tub inside here, but what fun's that? She is gorgeous, just look at that carapace. I'm in love. Right, so, <clears throat> how, how are we gonna do this? Maybe if we lift the, um, Lift the tub up a little bit, maybe. That might work. If we just move this round a bit, just so it's got some space to come out. Now, if we give it a little nudge, it should, should in theory, go straight into its little burrow. I'd like to think it would. Just turn around. Doesn't want to play ball. So close as well. Come on, girl. Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. That's it. There we go. Nice and easy, wasn't that hard? No, <laughs> it wants the tub. It just doesn't want to let go of the tub. Come on, you got a nice little home here. Yeah? Nice little tank for you. It does not want to let go, does it? It's got a mouthful, which is good though. Oh, just striked. So we might just be able to lift the tub out now. There we are, look at that. Nice little kick at the end as well. 
She is absolutely stunning. So you can't really, oh, let me get some light, there you go. You can see her just inside a little burrow entrance, just there. So I'm glad I made that now, because it seems like she appreciates it. But as always, I'm gonna get you some nice little macro footage now, hopefully some feeding footage as well, even though she's being fed right now, uh, you know, down the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll see how she gets on in this enclosure. I forgot to put the lid on to start with, so let's put that lid on. But uh, I'm very pleased with that, if I'm honest. I'm very happy with that. And uh, hopefully the little update that I gave you uh, a couple weeks down the line is pretty good as well. But thank you very much for watching, guys. So that is all the footage for today's episode. And I think that is pretty much all the BTS stuff sort of really out. So I don't know what order I've brought it out in, so I probably shouldn't have said that. But oh well. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. So if you could like, comment, and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. And don't forget, guys, I've got Patreon now, five different tiers. So if you want to help and support the channel, there's a link down in the description. But Mr. Grindler's down here. So are my creatures, so are my Balfouris, and so is my new Ferrophosa Apophysis female. Um, as for the male, yeah, he, he's just going to be chucked in a corner like the males do. That sounds really cruel. <laughs> but yeah, have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace.